What is going on, guys? It's uh, been a minute since I worked on anything. Uh, so we got a PS1 Mini. Let's see if we can get this working, but first thing we gotta do is see why this isn't closing. So let me take a look here. Let me grab my tools over there. See if I can set this up a little bit better here, guys. See, see if this bad boy works. Not what's wrong with it. Well, the first thing I can see is the lid don't close or stay closed. So let's take a look at that. Uh, let's see. If you guys can't see that, see that little spring right there? Right there? It should go right in here. So let's see if that will help. Let me grab my tool kit out here. I'm not going to need my rope pro. I can put that back. Let's see. See if we can get that. Maybe like this. Need something smaller. Just a little bit smaller. Let's try this. Yeah, I got it. Well, that didn't help either. So, But it did help to spring it up. Better. Ah, the button stuck. I guess we uh, see what's going on inside of it. First things first, let's uh, guess we can leave it closed like that for now. And we'll uh, see if this works.
Yeah, I don't think it's latching. For some reason. I'm not sure why, but I guess we'll figure it out. We shall figure it out. Alright, so there it is. I didn't have to do much anything to it. Uh, so, the adapter or converter I bought does not work from AV to HDMI that does not work. There's nothing wrong with this PlayStation. Hopefully the memory card slots are work because I don't have any memory cards for it yet. I do have to fix the lid, but as you all can see, it is working. I'll give you guys another update whenever I fix the lid. Okay, so another update. I got it working on my TV here which looks 10 times better than what it does on the big TV downstairs in the living room. Yeah, look at that. That looks much better. All right. So I'm an idiot. I forgot to plug in the USB power right there. Yeah. So, let's see what happens if I try to turn it in 1080p. Okay. I'm not sure this is 1080p or not. 1080p right there. Yep. It's loading. Still loading. Oh, I guess it don't look that much different. I mean, it's bridal. It's a little bit clearer, but it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna take this apart now and uh, see if I can fix this lid. I'll see y'all later. So. I figured out that it's the eject button, the little piece that's underneath the eject button, the the uh, the the uh, spring or whatever is broke. So I had to get one of those. I guess a little plastic or rubble that whenever you push the eject button. It springs, you know, the eject button will push it in, then it will bring itself back out, or reset itself. Well, that piece is broken, so we'll have to wait until I either get some hot glue or buy a new piece for it. But other than that, it's working great. Working like a new system. I didn't really do anything on the inside, just looked at the reset and I cleaned the power button. As you guys can see, it's working phenomenal. Alright, that's it. I'll figure I'll give you the, uh, give you the, uh, what I'm trying to say here. A tutorial on how to take apart your PS1 if you have a PS1. Let me grab my tools here and we get started. There we go. Right. Right, right, right. Good shit. So, I'm not going to take it completely apart. But I will show you guys. I think that's too big. Yeah. 
I will show you guys how to take the case off and I'll show you guys where the screws are because I already cleaned this one which looks much much cleaner than what you guys saw before some scuff marks but it'd be all right so you got six screws in the back go ahead take those out there we go so once that's done once that's done you flip it up around take the top off there you go now, this whole thing comes out. Everything comes out. And then you got tiny screws that on both sides of the steel, you got still you got a steel plate underneath the motherboard and a steel plate on top of the motherboard. You unscrew those, the, the screws, you unscrew the screws on both sides. They're the tiny ones, so you're gonna need a smaller drill, uh, smaller screw bit. And then you could take it, the the steel off and all that. But I mean, if you don't have to, I wouldn't recommend it. I just got lucky to have this inside, inside of this cleaned. So yeah. So, I'll show you guys now what is actually broken. We don't need you anymore. We can set you. Let me move the case. Set you right here. So, you see the little the clip seal yeah you just unclip one side and then the button will come off just like so then you don't have to do anything on this side just flip it around and you see that little piece right there I'll pull that out maybe there you go Oops. So, as you guys can see, that's the issue. So, let me grab my hot glue gun. That my... Yeah. That might help it. Hopefully. Plug this bad boy in here. And you know, one good thing about a hot glue gun is it don't take long to heat up. You turn it on. See, it's on now. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Hopefully, it does the trick because piece that I need for this it's either I gotta get it from Taiwan or just Taiwan okay
That did not work. Check it out, guys. Huh? Huh? So, I'm thinking that the piece in there, I don't think goes in that system. I think it's too short. But I don't know. I'm just guessing. But I melted some glue and let it dry. It made up a little ball. And then let it dry and then I shoved it inside the uh, inside the little latch. And now it closes. What do you think about that? All right, it's fixed. I'll see you guys later.